Despite the government shutdown, the Food and Drug Administration is looking into the alarming spike in teen vaping. It's an issue that the North Carolina General uh, Attorney General is trying to combat. Right now, more than 20% of high school students say they've used an electronic cigarette. That's an increase of 77% since 2017. And many experts and parents think middle and high school students don't really understand what vaping is. According to a survey, 63% of Juul users aged 15 to 24 don't know the product contains nicotine. They thought Juul was harmless and just consisted of water vapor. It's very addictive and it's especially addictive for young people. A recent study found e-cigarettes could be a gateway to other harmful products. Young adults who use them are about four times as likely to begin smoking cigarettes within 18 months compared to those who don't. In October, Stein opened an investigation into e-cig maker Juul over its marketing practices to teens. In November, the company agreed to stop the sale of some flavored e-cigarettes. And just last month, Stein told CBS 17 he supports the idea of raising the legal age to vape from 18 to 21.